changing the strings on this is my Jackson. This is like my go-to if I'm just sitting at my desk. So I took the, took the strings off already. That's the, we've all seen that part. The big thing is I wanted to try this out. This is F1, F1 oil. And I've uh, seen a couple people talk about it on TikTok, of course. So I had to try it. It's not that expensive. But basically this is um, to clean this. And this thing is so grimy that I wanted to um, just wipe it down and make sure get all the grime and stuff out of it. And I was smelling it right now and it smells like end dust. I remember, you can't, like this guitar, my uh, Fender, I put end dust on it one time on the neck and it actually worked out pretty nicely. But I was kind of nervous about doing it. So I only did it once to try it out. But it did clean it nicely and I don't know if it's wood, so I don't think it would affect it that much. It has wood with a veneer on it. This is like a rosewood, and uh, you're just supposed to put a little bit like right down the center. The people have been doing it. And this thing is grimy. I was looking at it, and you can just see all the, the oils from my finger. Um, wow. Yep. It dissolves that grease real quick. Makes real quick work of it. Great. Okay. So I wanted to try that out. It looks like it works pretty well. I think I may have put too much, but that's fine. But yeah, look at that. You can't, look at how dark it is. All that grime, look at that. So that, I don't know if that will actually affect the playing or the tone of the guitar at all, but didn't look good and it all it's all it does is that those oils just um, break down over time and I would assume damage the wood over time so you don't want that but if it doesn't at least it just makes it look more presentable and doesn't look like um, gnarly like it did because I was playing it the other day and I looked and I was like and I just scraped it with my nails like oh that's just grease from my fingers my grubby little hands so if you ever will think about this stuff it does work but like I said it smells it does smell like end dust it smells exactly like end dust so maybe if you already have end dust in your house maybe give that a try I don't know what would be the big difference because this it does not my, my concern would be staining the wood, but then again, I put end dust on my expensive cabinets and stuff like that, that, and even my floor and my TV stand and all this expensive stuff that I've accumulated over the years. So I'm okay with spraying that and I won't put it on my guitar, but I don't know. This stuff seems to work. Uh, it's uh, cleans, conditions, and protects petroleum and wax free so I don't know it, I'll tell you one thing it does work whether or not you need this particular brand or something I don't know but I'm getting all of this grime off this thing was so grimy it looks brand new and it's nice and shiny because then you get all that stuff underneath your uh, the fret the fret wires and yeah, I can see, the funny thing is I can see where I play. I can see where I'm putting my fingers the most because that's where the grime is. Whereas up here, I, I rarely use or I rarely go up when I'm playing. So there's significantly less gunk up here. The technical term of gunk. Look at that. So you can't really see it on the guitar, but you can see it on this rag. I've been uh, playing this guitar a lot lately, and a big thing is I down-tuned it down a whole step instead of just a half like I normally do. Actually, I did a half step, and then I did a drop C lately. So I dropped the low E to match the D string in tone when I'm already down a half a step. <clears throat> so, now... I'm gonna tune. I'm gonna put um, 
the Diodoro, I'm going to do the same string as the 11 to 50. But I'm going to do it on a nice shiny guitar. I think I got it all. You can't really tell, but you can see like that shine. So it works. If you're wondering about it, it seems to work. Whether or not you need this particular thing, or you could use any other commercial cleaner that's wood safe for wood, I don't know. But this wasn't too terribly expensive. I think it's like eleven or twelve dollars for this bottle. And considering how much I put on and how much excess that I didn't need, I think you could make that bottle last a long time. So that's something to think about. So if you're thinking about it, it does work at least. You know, it didn't screw anything up. That's, that's the big thing is I don't want it to mess it up. So looks good.